Green Hornet. Uh... He hunts the biggest of all game. Public enemies who try to destroy our America. <laughs> Cato, Britt Reed, daring young publisher, matches wits with the underworld, risking his life that criminals and racketeers within the law may feel its weight by the sting of the Green Hornet. Ride with Britt Reed in a thrilling adventure, Torpedo on Wheels. The Green Hornet strikes again. trucks lumbered along the trunk highways outside the city, moving with their loads of vital material. From a hill several hundred yards off the road, two men squinted through the darkness, checking the lights of each truck as it lumbered off the stiff grade. Is that it? What is it coming at the crest of the hill? I don't see any flags. Nor any lights. No. Let it pass. It will be long. My information is that I've been waiting half an hour. Patience is a virtue you know nothing about, Corbin. Eh? It's cold, too. Another talk. Yeah. That's the one, Corbin. See the red light? Now. Oh, dear, you're in the... Suffering snakes. Her nurse's uniform. 
So you wormed your way inside them lines by posing as a nurse. <laughs> when you kill me to figure it out. When the mother... Holy crap! Golly, I I'll tell you... I'll well, Gail, you got inside, but you shouldn't have done it. If that trailer full of gasoline had blown up, the sentinel would have lost its best woman reporter. Well, that's just it, Mr. Reed. There wasn't any gasoline trailer. There wasn't anything there but just a big hole in the ground. I don't reckon we can print anything, because that's why they were keeping people away. But that truck had blown up, Mr. Reed. It wasn't any ordinary truck. It was carrying dynamite. <laughs> Katie, which was sabotaged just as sure as you and I are sitting here. Miss Manning is very lucky, yes? Yeah, she gives the appearance of being dumb, Katie, but there's plenty of brains behind that pretty face. Sentinel, not princess? And we can't. It's sensible information. That's why that area was roped off. <laughs> Poor Axford. He gets a uh, horn swallowed. These days, a lot of trucks are hauling war material. Guns, ammunition, and vital food. And this was a red flag job. Uh, will you explain to well, There's no mystery about it. Trucks that carry high explosives are required to fly red flags during the daytime and have red spotlights front and rear at night as a warning. Why do you say sabotage? Perhaps the truck had accidents and blew up. It was a clear stretch of road, Cato. Those drivers are careful. It was an upgrade. The truck was traveling slowly. Besides, there's something else. Here. Look at this. Well, Mr. Britt, is this a carrier newspaper? That's right. That opposition paper. Oh, I tell you, Cato. Don't you mention it, my lord. We'll just keep it a deep, dark secret. But what? There's an ad in the cleric. The several refused to run it. Oh, wanted. Experienced long haul truck drivers. Get better wages. Seems we not run this ad? No, we turned it down. The sample doesn't encourage job pirating. But here's the odd angle, Cato. Our advertising department didn't get a kick from the people who wanted to place that ad. And yet the Sentinel has the top advertising coverage in the city. Every advertiser wants the Sentinel. Mm-hmm. Here's another angle. One of our truckmen applied. He couldn't find out where the job would be. They just weren't interested in him. I don't understand. Oh, wait, I'm not through. The only ones they were interested in were truck drivers used to hauling explosives. Yet they weren't doing any hiring that he could see at all. Truck drivers who haul explosives. Well, Mr. Brick, I don't see what that means. Never mind. I do. That's why we're going out tonight. Tonight? Pick up the hornet mask and the gas weapon. I hope there's plenty of gas in the Black Beauty. A few moments later, stepping through a secret panel in the rear of a closet in his bedroom, Britt Reed and Cato went along a narrow passage built within the wall of the apartment house itself. The passage led to an adjoining building which fronted on a dark side street. Though supposedly abandoned, this building served as the hiding place for the sleek, superpowered Black Beauty. Streamline car of the Green Hornet. <laughs> Black Beauty car already, Mr. Brick. Okay, let's travel. <clears throat> Britt Reed pressed the button. The great car roared into life. The section of wall in front raised automatically, then closed as the gleaming Black Beauty sped into the darkness. Yes, 
destroyed me. Left. So haunted. I mustn't tell ever. Not... Mr. Kohler. I, I didn't know you... I was out in the hall with Wolf. We could see you through the glass in the door. It wasn't my fault. I never saw the haunted before in my life. Relax, sister. Maybe I believe you. You told him about the road race job we're planning, didn't you? Yeah, that's what I thought. But I had to. Sure, sure. Forget it, see? Where's Wolf? Him? Oh, don't worry about a thing, Miss Murdoch. He went downstairs ahead of the haunt. He's going to follow him. He's going to find out who the Green Hornet really is. Pretty neat trick, huh? <laughs> Yeah, Cola. That was a fine idea. To get one of that car in the alley, I saw it clearly. Do you know who he is? <laughs> I think it would be a good idea if you wrote a letter to the Daily Sentinel newspapers, Cola. No one will be sure to see it, yes? Five o'clock this evening, Cato. Yes, sir. Uh, excuse, please, Mr. Please. Make it fast, Cato. I'm due up in my office right now. You recall last night when we leave Cooley office in Black Beauty? Well, I hesitate to speak of it at times, but now I'm more certain. Mr. Britt, I think somebody followed us last night. Somebody followed? Well, good morning, Cato. You're down kind of late, aren't you? Oh, hello, actually. I've been down for hours already. Well, I was out rather late last night. Are uh, you coming upstairs to your office? I'm on my way up myself. Yes. All right. I'll see you later, Kato. Yes, sir. Good day. Well, let's not stand out in the street, actually. Let's go upstairs. Seems to have turned colder rather suddenly, hasn't it? Sandy, you don't look good. Maybe you're not getting enough sleep. Well, forget it, Ashford. But you look kind of pale and pink. Will you please forget it? I'm all right. I'm fine. You've been doing everything but take my pulse all the way up on the elevator. Have you had some bad news, Reed? Has somebody died? No. Not yet. Not yet? What do you That's what I have work to do. I haven't even seen the first edition. I haven't talked with Gunning about today's front page. I have a dozen letters to get off. Now, will you please do me a favor and let... Mr. Reed. Mr. Reed. Oh, now what? I should have traffic lights. Mr. Reed, heaven's the best now. I'm going to clear them all out of breath. Take a deep one and start over. Well, I was helping Mr. Gungan set the mail, and this team is the Daily Sentinel. Well, I reckon you all better look at it. I never got such a start in my life. Sounds important. Let's see. So, for instance, here, will you stop your handsome shaking? Here, T.C. Here, listen, I don't know why Gungan pays any attention to crank letters like this. Actually, listen to this. To the editor... I won't tell you my name yet because I'm afraid of what might happen to me. The next time I write, I'll have police protection because I'll be positive then. In fact, I'm positive now. Mr. Editor, I know who the Green Hornet is. Now back to our story. Sentinel carried the unsigned note in a box on the front page. That night at Britt Reed's apartment, Cato shook his head mournfully as Britt read it. I'll have police protection because I'll be positive then. In fact, I'm positive now. Mr. Editor, I know who the Green Hornet is. Well, that's very bad, Mr. Britt. Make sure the headline, Cato. There's no time for joke. Always when I have bad dreams, is that sometimes somebody find out you're a Green Hornet. You go to jail, Mr. Britt. You get executed for murder. I've never harmed anyone, you know that. But police not know it. Police record says Green Hornet is very bad criminal. Even murderer. There's no written sign. No, but obviously, who knows the sign? I tell you, we were seen when we leave Cooler office last night in Black Beauty. Oh, too bad, isn't it? Then we've got the lowdown on Cooler and what? 
Fuller's secretary talks, but I wonder how much good it'll do us now. It's impossible to operate from behind steel bars. Are we going to take this sitting down? What is different? Sitting down or standing up? Pretty soon we are lying down. Six feet underground. Bad. Bad. Real bad. to go out and black duty tonight? After later in Central, police will be on watch every place. You might as well, Cato. Our identity is known. It makes no difference what we do, does it? Yes, that's very true. Well, I want to see it. It's obvious we wouldn't have sent that letter to a newspaper where it would be published. Well, we don't want to disappoint him. Here's the black beauty. Hop in. How you can talk so calmly? Your, your life's in danger. Please, answer me one question, yes? What's that, Cato? Kohler and Wolf know who is Green Hornet. Is that right? Go on. It's very obvious what they do. Perhaps they notify police. Perhaps not. But if they offer you choice between jail and helping them with sabotage, uh, what will you do, Mr. Britt? Get in the car, Cato. We better go. Find out, Wolf. Take another day to check it out. But... Never mind, Fuller. So long as they are part of it, yeah? Mm-hmm. Get the figure on the trucks instead. Is it tonight? Yeah, last two hours. Mm-hmm. The trucks will be assembled at the truck terminal, yeah? That's right. Also, there's a munitions truck that is due at the terminal to unload when? Fifteen minutes before the rest pick up and later. Say how good. They trail the munitions truck. Take over when it stops for a traffic light and then send the truck smashing into the loading terminal. It ruined that value. Of course, he comes. Oh. Now he comes. Fine. We shall be ready for his entry. I'm back again. Where's your boss? Why, if you... Hello, Hornet. I've been expecting you. I didn't want to disappoint you. After all, that letter was practically an engraved invitation, wasn't it? Sure, one you couldn't refuse. I don't know why you bothered to wear the mask anymore with me. Just force of habit, Mr. Kohler. Besides, you may be bluffing. <laughs> Would you be here? Now, well, let's get down to cases, Hornet. You're a handy man, see? Thanks. Let's talk. You came up here the other night and got the dame to talk. Well, all Shut I up. did. Like I heard about you, you want a slice of dough to keep you quiet. I right? always get it. Now, this time it's different, huh? You see, if we know who you are, we can expose you just as easy as you can put the finger on us. You followed me last night, is that it? Yeah, something like that. We lost you after a while, but we got enough. We saw that car of yours up close. Oh? Yeah. Took down the license number. But anyway, Hornet, here's the angle. We know who you are, and you've got a little dope on us. It's a Mexican standoff, sort of. We could use a man with your talent, especially tonight. In fact, it's time to leave now. We've got to hurry. Well, that's it. Good night. Oh, you didn't know that, huh? Go on, Kohler. Yeah. Well, like I said, we can use you. Do like we say, and I've got some cash to hand. Get that cash out of the door. Yes, Mr. Hornet. Here it is, Hornet, 2,000 bucks. Not bad for a few hours' work, not even for you. But before I give it to you, I want you to want know... my answer? It's this. Oh, don't no. move, Hornet. Now, listen, don't move and you listen. The Green Hornet's been credited with a lot of crimes, but I don't want any part of the kind of job you're planning. I'll take that money right now. Oh, my thanks. We'll make a nice present for the USO. And there's one way to make sure you don't spread your information. What are you talking about? Dead men don't talk, Kohler. Now, Hornet, wait. Now, wait, Hornet. What the hell? Get him! 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 Get Hello. Hello. 
He's inside. Well, one moment. Mr. Briggs. My head. Oh, you, you hurt, Mr. Briggs. Oh, no, no, it's nothing. Wolf was in the other room waiting. They've already in case I didn't play ball with them. Then the lights went out and Wolf came from behind. He used the butt of his gun. They put you in closet. I was half conscious, kid. I heard them arguing with a woman about something. And when I hurried to get away, they were touching her. They even forgot to take this money. Mr. Uh, Chris, look. There's woman. Dead. Killed. They did it. The dirty yellow black. You what? Kato, we've got to go. Mr. Britt, no. You are busy. No, we've got to go, Kato. Call the police. Yes, yes, we'll call the police. We've still got to handle this ourselves. The black duty's fast. Faster than any police car. It's got to be fast. It is a good, clear night, Cola. Here we look for a way, huh? Yeah? Oh, like those trucks line up the loading platform. Hmm. It is the auto direction that confirms me. As soon as we see the red headlight. Yeah, that's our baby. What do we do about the hornet wolf? Simple cover. After this is over, you go back to your office, Miss Wong. You didn't call the police. So you have captured the green hornet. They come and arrest him for the murder of his secretary. She was pretty good. They too nervous. Explain was too great for her. Sooner or later, she would have broken down and talked to the police or somebody. Well, I guess it's the best way. Too bad the hornet wouldn't work with us. Chase the chicken and the criminal. <laughs> Still, as you say, it's too dangerous. It would kill us both to keep us from revealing who he is. Oh, we don't need that license number now. Ah. Uh, it seems to me. Wolf, that's it. Ah. Uh, that's right. Now. got no time to help fix the I thought maybe you could give us a lift to the nearest garage. Sorry, buddy. This is government stuff. No hitchhiker. Get him. Big officer of the road. I'll tell you in my car to get up out of the truck, Wolf. Yeah. The right behind me. And the truck is close enough, I jump. The you talk to the one, be in the same straight as the truck's below. Yes. with the car trailing it. Pull up on the left of the car. Close. What the? Take it, Kohler. Oh. Going off the road. Now the same with the truck, Kato, up on the left. Truck loaded with explosives. I know what. I can't let it crash. I'm going to jump for it. You'll have to get right alongside. Yes, sir. Don't let it I'll take that wheel off. and the rest of them with it. What a sorry for the sentinels. Oh, I tell you. Tell us the best way you listen to me. I'm trying to tell you. One of those five says he knows who the green hornet is. Hey, what's that? Sure thing. I just heard him telling the police. He doesn't know yet, but he says he's got the license number of the green hornet car. The license gonna... number? Holy crow, is that all? Was something wrong? Something snake. Do you think the hired would be fap enough to have a regular license plate for his car? It's a phony. That number's been spotted dozens of times. They'll never nab the hornet that way. Never in a million years.
These popular radio dramas, created by George W. Trentle, are a copyrighted feature of The Green Hornet, Incorporated. All characters, names, places, and incidents used are